The day is finally here. No! This grill looks like a shower curtain. It's a banana seat as well. Yes! Oh, that top is mine! <laughs> that was a bit anticlimactic, but okay. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max, and today we've got the new BMW M135i X Drive. The day is finally here. We get to drive it and finally see what it's like and what has changed compared to the previous M140i, um, what that four cylinder is like, what it's like to drive. I'm just super curious uh, so today i'm going to show you the spec we've got it in then we'll take it for a drive along this road and towards the autobahn for an autobahn blast of course but before we begin don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive updates when we upload a new video and follow us on instagram at autotopnl okay so um well let's start with the spec we've got a mineral grau mineral grau so dark gray uh, m135i today uh, of course with you know being an m performance we get all this cerium gray on the outside on the mirror caps as well on the grill um, you have seen I, I presume you have seen my video of the m135i in the closed room when we weren't able to drive it but look around walk around touch it feel it uh, so i'm not going to go deep into that uh, but I will say that in this color, this Mineral Grau, I think it looks a lot better than in that Misano blue we had. Um, I do, however, still feel like this grill looks like a shower curtain. Um, I don't really like it, but I have seen the M Performance version with the black grill and I think that looks a lot better. So if you would get it in this gray with black stuff, black M Performance stuff, I think it would look a lot better already um, at the front we've got a very intricate grill or bumper uh, with a lot of air inlets radiators behind there there and uh, there um, we've got some air ducts right there for the brake cooling we've got M performance brakes of course 19 inch M wheels not sure about the design We've got Continental Premium Contact 6 tires. Uh, I would get some Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires if I were you. Uh, we've got black shadow line stuff around the windows. And this is a good angle for this car. Still not sure about the front. I think the front and well, basically from uh, an angle and straight ahead, I think it looks like an MPV, but like this, I actually, I actually like it. I think this is a very, very good rear end. Uh, I really like those tail lights. I like that diffuser. I like the big exhaust uh, tail pipes. Yeah, I like it. We've also got this spoiler on the M135i. And I would say overall, this, this is a good rear end. Uh, so guys, in the top right corner, get to voting and rate the looks of this car, one to five. Click in the top right corner. How do you like it? Curious to see what you think. Okay, so on the inside, we've got a magma red interior, which is really cool uh, combined with that gray outside. We've got the sport seats, optional sport seats, which are really good, uh, quite comfortable, but really snug. You get really, you know, you get hugged by the seat. And it's a banana seat as well. And I'll explain to you why this is a banana seat. Because the back rest, it curves, as you can see, it curves towards your head. And that means that when you sit in it, you can actually lean your head against this part of the seat, which is really nice and comfortable. Uh, that's something that most bucket seats don't have. So that's really good. Uh, it's also perforated in this pattern down here it's really nice i really like this leather this color these seats are great um, so the rest of the interior you know it's it's very recognizable um, because practically every bmw has this interior now but i think it works best in the one series and in the three series i would say 
Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at the engine. Oh, it's very windy again today. So, there we have the B48 four-cylinder, transversely placed. Um, no more inline six, no more deliciousness from the M135i. Uh, because this is transversely placed and not longitudinal, so like lengthwise, you also have a very short front end, as you can see. Uh, that's very short, for you, especially for a BMW. So we've got 306 horsepower, 450 newton meters. Uh, it also has a strut brace right there. And as I said with the introduction, it has a super smart traction control system, uh, the ARB traction control system. That's, I think it's uh, from the, the BMW i3. And what it basically does is the ECU monitors the traction, the ESP. And uh, if it detects slip, it will change the, uh, I think it's the ignition spark or something like that inside the engine making it much quicker up to 10 times quicker to respond to wheel spin and that means that you don't have that esp with all those brake uh, interventions so that's a, a much better way to to handle an esp system because it's just much more natural and uh, more effective and probably less annoying as well so that's super smart it also has a torsion limited slip diff at the front uh, it's X drive now as you know <laughs> Martijn just got shot did you hear it no yes oh that top is mine <laughs> sniper. snipers located okay so we've got X drive <laughs> um, up to 50% of the torque is sent to the rear but it's basically a front wheel drive car so it will only send power to the rear when it detects that it's needed which is weird because in normal BMW X drive systems it's the other way around it's more rear drive biased and it sends power up to the front if it's needed so yeah it's basically a, a mirrored version of the BMW we know Okay, so before we get to driving it, please guys rate this interior from one to five. Uh, what do you think? You can vote in the top right corner. Let me know. Okay, so with that, we're going to drive it. Uh, we're going to see what it's like with that four cylinder. The sound, you know, I don't want to be too, too critical and too hard on it because this was inevitable. We all knew that this was going to happen at some point. Yes, we are going to miss that inline six in the one series, you know, like crazy, but we have to judge this car on what it is and not on what we feel it should have been or like, you know, what we miss about other cars. So with that, we're going to put it in sport mode we're going to put the gearbox in sport as well. We've got some fake sounds coming through the speakers. Um, and we are going to do a launch control because this car should do 4.8 seconds to 100, which is rather quick. So let's see what that feels like. We've got everything in sport, traction control in sport as well. Foot on the brake, full throttle, Launch control, let it build, and there we go. Wow. I mean, that's quite impressive. That's a lot of traction. So we actually managed to do a 4.7 0 to 100 run, which is pretty damn impressive. This is a fast car and it grips like crazy. Handling wise, well, of course you have that four cylinder, so you have less weight at the front, which will always benefit the handling because let's be honest the m140i the m135i the previous ones i mean it's not like they were incredibly well handling sharp driving machines it was just a lot of fun and they were charming as hell because they had that big engine but 
driving wise I always felt that they sat a bit too high and they were quite squishy the suspension tunnel oh, that, that was not really uh, <laughs> that was a bit anticlimactic but okay so that's the biggest thing you lose the sound the charm handling wise this car feels pretty light on its feet. It feels quite direct. Um, the turn-in is really sharp. The gearbox, we've got an eight-speed Steptronic gearbox. Uh, it's the ASIN unit we also experienced in the X2 M35i. Uh, I hated it in that car, but it's a lot better in this one. It feels a lot sharper, a lot more alert. Um, the shifts are not that, you know, head bogging, crazy. Uh, it, it, it's a lot better. It, it works better in this car or they have just improved it a lot. So, towards the Autobahn. Uh, let's see what it's like at high speeds. And let's see what it's like on this on-ramp. So, 80 kilometers an hour, a little bit of understeer, a lot of understeer, and full throttle. So, what can I tell you about the previous M135i and the M140i? They felt like a lot bigger they felt like they were a lot bigger when you were on the Autobahn at high speeds. They they are really, oh, they are really planted. This, however, it's all over the place. It's a little bit windy, okay, but it's like, well, I, I don't know what this is. Maybe that's the tracks from the trucks as well, but I'll try this, no. It's, it's uh, searching for the right path and not finding it. That was 2.59 and the limiter as well. I mean, the speed is very impressive. The torque is very impressive. This car, it drives like a bigger car regularly, but when you get to higher speeds, it starts moving around and that's not that confidence inspiring, I would say. It is impressive performance-wise because this car is two tenths of a second slower than the M135i of Martijn. So that car had 320 horsepower and a six cylinder. This has a four cylinder with 306 horsepower and it's only two tenths from 100 to 200. So that's, that's quite impressive and I have to say that the B48 is one of my favorite four cylinders. I really loved it in the 330i. Um, but that brings me to the fact that this car doesn't really feel like an M performance car. It feels like a really good, really strong four cylinder one series. It feels like a 135i or a 130i. And that's mainly because of the absence of of sound uh, but it's also it, it also lacks a bit of aggression a bit of oomph you know it has a lot of torque so when you drive it regularly uh, when we drove it to the Autobahn you know across the Netherlands it was really nice and torquey and and it's a, a really good car to drive every day a really good fast car to drive every day but once you start attacking some corners going on the Autobahn it, it, it doesn't really get you there, if you know what I mean. It misses that, that last bit of excitement, that charm, that of course that six cylinder brought. I'm going to stop comparing it to the old M135i and compare it to its present day competitors. The Mercedes AMG A35, for instance. You know, same horsepower, this has more torque, and it feels more torquey and it is faster. It's seven tenths faster from 100 to 200 kilometers an hour than an A35. That's impressive. And you should also compare it to those cars, you know, to an A, 
to an A35, to an Audi S3, to a Golf R. Back in the day when everything had, you know, six cylinders, five cylinders, that's where we came from. And BMW held on to that inline six for a long time. So I'm thankful for that. And I knew this was inevitable. All in all, it's just a better car. But I just missed that six cylinder. I can't help myself. I, I really wanted to be objective and don't and try not to care about that six cylinder. But you're just confronted with it every second when you drive this car. It's a really good car. It's a really good two liter four cylinder old hatch. But it just it doesn't make me smile like the old ones did. And that's it for this review guys i hope you enjoyed it you can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle you can also check out this video or go check out this playlist see you at the next one bye